Hello, and welcome to the first 2019 edition of our investment strategy series. Late 2018 was challenging for investors as markets became concerned about the global economy. While a slowdown is indeed on the way, fundamentals do not point to a major economic accident. Strong labor dynamics, the Fed's changed attitude toward markets, and the trade negotiations between the US and China have brought some respite in the short term. In the US, the risk of an impending recession is low, despite tightening financial conditions, full employment, rising wages, low fuel prices and strong confidence all support the outlook for the US consumer. The Fed has shown willingness to be flexible in its approach, and we expect two rate hikes this year. In Europe, we expect improvements in 2019. Growth is sustainable thanks to solid domestic demand, tightening labor market, and growing wages, which should allow for some further normalization of monetary policy by the ECB. In the near term, Brexit remains the main risk event. And while markets awaited clarity on Brexit, they welcomed progress in trade tensions. The US and China just finalized a constructive first round of talks after tariffs hurt both countries. So the risk of further escalation has declined, at least for now. Finally, while the emerging economy should benefit from a weakening dollar and improving commodity prices, a heavy political agenda, tighter financial conditions, and trade tensions remain the main risks to watch. Overall, we do not expect a major downturn over the next 12 months, but we are in the later stage of the cycle with less supportive monetary conditions. Now, let's hear from Stefan how to position portfolios in this environment. Investors are dealing with a complex backdrop. The US expansion is maturing, as Sami just highlighted, and geopolitical tensions are high. The sharp decline in equity markets last December illustrated the need for prudent portfolio positioning at this stage of the cycle. Even if markets recovered as the Fed adopted a more cautious stance and the US and China talked of progress, the rebound might be capped as markets face a few important headwinds. Decelerating US and Chinese growth, revision of earnings growth expectation, and of course, geopolitical dynamics. There is a change in investors' concerns. The focus has shifted away from Fed's approach and inflation and onto global growth. Against this backdrop, we have a neutral exposure to equities. Earnings growth peaked in 2018 and should slow this year. We have recently reduced the allocation to small caps outside the US as they should underperform large caps and suffer from late cycle illiquidity. In fixed income, we have increased our allocation to investment grade corporate bonds. Here, we favor European corporates where we see better fundamentals and less risk of rating downgrades. We have also shifted our broad commodities exposure into a more specific allocation to gold in anticipation of more volatility. Gold offers diversification and tends to perform well in risk-averse and dollar-weakening environments, especially if market participants start having doubts about the effectiveness of monetary policies. In currencies, we took some profit on our dollar-yen position in early January as the appreciation of the yen appeared overdone in the short term. This quarter, we will be monitoring several key events which are well anticipated by markets. Brexit developments, the Fed January meeting for clues about the very likely pause in March, and the evolution of the trade relationship between the US and China after the 1st of March, which marks the end of the truce. And while trade tensions remain the biggest threat to growth, there is another risk worth watching, the resurgence of concerns about the massive levels of global debt. A resilient portfolio positioning and rigorous risk management remain our foremost consideration as we navigate this challenging phase of the cycle. As always, we will keep you regularly informed of our latest insights. Thank you very much for watching. Right.